What's up guys, District 9 Detective here. It has been a long while since you've seen a video of mine. Uh, what's been happening? Well, I had some minor health issues, but I'm back at it, back out detecting. Uh, just an issue with my feet, but hopefully it's corrected. Um, but I'm out today with the Apex, with the regular Viper coil on it, and my first target just popped. It was a good, well, kind of a good signal. Had a little iffiness to it, but I dug it anyways, and it was about, oh, maybe six inches deep. Look at this. What did I tell you? Sometimes you just gotta dig those iffy signals. Look at that. A buckle, and it's a beautiful one. Nice. There we go. Nice buckle. Nice old buckle. And it still has, oh wow, nice. So it has a little tang there. So cool. Nice. Tang, tongue, whatever you want to call it. That's an old buckle. And like I said, it was way at the bottom of that plug. I try to dig smaller plugs. I'm in the sports field part and uh I don't want to make a mess because the ground's still hard, you know, the frost layer is still pretty hard right now, so I'm trying to keep my plugs intact. I'm making, I didn't bring my cloth, but normally you'd take a cloth and lay it down and put your dirt, but this is easy to move and put back, so I'm not worried about it. But I will gladly take a buckle. That's my first find with the Apex today. I think it was like a 70s to 80, I want to say. The way it said and it sounded pretty good there's a little glitch in it but i'm sure it's just a crustiness on it we'll take it moving on well, i got my next signal here and it's typical like i found a million of these i have to have if you ever need a sports clip i or this goes to sports equipment like um football pads i believe i could be wrong been a, been a while actually um, but I found a ton of these if you ever need one <laughs> I'll send it to you <laughs> uh, it's just for the straps and it hooks in like those old military belts <clears throat> but yeah it could technically also be used for like well really anything that needs a strap but um, so I'm in I'm using the apex viper coil like I mentioned I'm in multi-frequency mode or uh, multi-flex, it's the same thing. Um, and it's running good, quiet as ever, uh, no issues with falsing. Um, well, advice, two new machines came out, and I'm sure you already know this. The Nocta uh, Legend there, that's multi-frequency, and the Deus 2, that's multi-frequency. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm holding off on uh, buying that, any of those, mainly because I already have two technically multi-frequency machines. I got the Apex, I got the Vanquish, and I got, I mean, my original Deus, you know, you can cycle through uh, the frequencies there, and uh, I just, I'm not really sold on the whole multi-frequency thing, unless you're, like beach hunting yes it's crucial um it's crucial in many other ways too on land um but i'm just not really sold on spending a either fifteen hundred dollars on the day is two uh the note does not bad price it's actually cheaper than a equinox 600 the legend is 637 but i don't know what that includes in the package or not but Personally, I'm going to hold off. I have way too many machines, as all of you already know. And I'm just going to enjoy what I got and learn what I got for now. My Deus coil is being fixed. My X35 coil. I'm still waiting on that to get back to me. The company that's fixing it said they can probably either fix it or replace it because of my warranty. So, yeah, I'm going to be having fun with that. But, yeah, sorry for the rant. But, anyways... I'm in the multi-flex, uh, you got iron volume on, I'm in zero mode, so I can hear everything, but 
That's what I found. On to the next. Sorry about the rant. Well, this next target started off, I think it was like a 74. 74. And out popped the famous Zinkin. This one's a uh, 82. All right. It's weird when I popped it out of the hole and read it again, it was ringing really low. So, I don't know. Moving on. Just had a 75, 76. About, I would say, maybe four inches into the plug. And out popped a memorial. It's a 93. All right. Cool beans. Uh, it's not bad out right now. It's getting a little warmer, but man, it signals are few and far between over here now. Uh, I found another one of those buckle things. There's strap guides there for equipment or, you know, for, you know like sports equipment. It's a crusty 93 penny. Um, what was I going to say, you guys? Yeah, I forgot. No idea. I forgot. But I'll pitch you in if I find anything else. Anyways. And just out here still looking. So the good thing about winter hunting, I find, is the frost pushes items up that were once far too deep for really any detector, whether it's an Equinox, a Deus, any of the new machines, whatnot. Hunting in the winter, it's actually pretty good if you live in a really cold area. Because things get pushed up and in the springtime, when it all melts in the water, it, it just makes it even better. So, yeah, that's one good thing. I, for one, am not really, I'm telling you, I almost bought, I almost pre-ordered that Deus 2 there. Uh, it's multi-frequency, it's waterproof, finally like submersible, um, wireless, just like the Deus. Uh, and then I was looking at the Legend, the Nokta Legend there, and that's multi-frequency, same thing, submersible. But so wasn't the $250 simplex, so. Maybe someday I'll look into one of those. One of our other guys, he uh, hunts with one. Uh, and he has really good success with it. So maybe I'll look into the, one of those, but I just, I'm not in the mood to spend $1,500 on the Deus 2 or even $700 on another unit, you know? I mean, this Deus is, uh, this Apex is uh, multi frequency and it's 400 something dollars that's probably the cheapest multi-frequency actually no i lied the vanquish my vanquish my mind lab is cheaper and that's multi iq if you're looking for a cheap multi-frequency uh that that would be the mind lab vanquish 340 there that one's only 200 dollars so it's 200 dollars cheaper than the apex Sometimes it runs really good, but that thing loves big old crusty nails. No matter what settings you put it on, you're fine in nails. You know, this I do a little better on than my Vanquish. Though I have found great things with my Vanquish. But yeah, so, I mean, it's up to you guys. Like, what do you guys think? You know, a lot of people, like me, I have bought a detector almost every year. You know, since I started the hobby, and actually a couple in some years. But that was just to play with the different detectors, because I wasn't really that skillful and knew a lot. I'm still learning my dais. That thing's so many settings, and, you know, you got to really learn your machine before you find stuff. Uh, you're going to find tons of junk with all of them. That's, that's the truth. You think just because you buy a new machine, you're going to find stuff. That's not true at all. Not true at all. You could 
grab a 20 year old detector and still find stuff. So I haven't really had any good signals. It's been iron and I, you probably can't see it, but had a couple of little squeaks, but nothing worth digging while talking to you guys. But I'm kind of going like a crop circle right now. A lot of people walk lines, but I like to wander. Maybe that's why sometimes I overstep signals. But I like going in circles sometimes. You get a lot of your out of your area than just walking a line. You could walk, you know, a one mile line over here and then realize you haven't found anything. And then you gotta walk another line. Whereas if you walk in a circle or wander, you might hit hit, hit on something. But anyways, end of rant. I haven't found much besides a couple pennies and that awesome buckle. I'm excited about that. Came out really good out of the ground here. You know, I don't think they treat this part of the grass. But yeah, end of rant. We're having fun. We're out metal detecting. It's been a while, like I said. I might clip in my other videos. I did a ton of like, I don't know, two minute videos, but they're not even really worth adding to this, so. But, yeah, I'm staying healthy. I'm out detecting. That's all that matters, right? All right, we'll see what we find. Well, I just pulled out to a good signal. I think this is a, some sort of a fishing sinker there. It's lead. That's a little tab. It looks weird though, it's a weird shape, so I don't know, if you know, let me know. I'm not much of a fisherman. <laughs> Moving on. Well, over there, it seems like there's some arguments between some roofers. And uh, swears. Oh, I just popped a penny. Seems like there's a big disagreement over there. And who's the worst person? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, had a 76 on the apex. I popped a shield penny. Okay, again, move on. Well, if you're watching my uh, video from weeks back, I found that goldish ring, gold plated ring, whatever. It was a disappointment. Anyways, I found that somewhere near this wall. And. I just popped 81. Nope, yep, popped a. Where is it? 81, 82. Yep, popped a. Uh, it looks like a silver rosy. And it's 60s. Can't see it though. 69 almost a silver rosy. Almost. Oh, we'll still take that. That was so close. Almost silver. It looks silver. But you can just barely make out that it's not. That was close. Yeah, I'll take it. Alright, moving on. Had another good target, and it was about pinpointer deep. And, uh, no pop the nickel. Probably two feet away from that dime. I can't. It's in the 90s. That's all I know. So it's a Jefferson. We'll take it. Moving on. Aha, I tricked you guys again. I'm now out with the AT Max. My plan, my master plan. Haha. -ha. No, anyways. First target, 64. Just junk. But we're out with the AT Max on zero mode. My last hunt got a little interrupted by something weird. So I was walking away from my hunt, kind of. Um, well, I was walking on a path to my truck and I looked behind me and there was like a police officer like kind of beelining it towards me. Local PD, nice guy, I know him. And I was just like, I turned around and then he just like turned around and changed his direction and was looking like right around where I was metal detecting. So I don't know if someone was being smart or something and reporting me metal detecting and 
he just didn't want to confront me. I don't know. It was weird. Very weird. But anyways, we're out with the Viper coil on the AT Max 2. So hopefully that hits on some good targets. And we'll see where it takes us. Well, I was walking and swinging. Just straight line from where that junk was. I found a little pencil eraser topper at a 51. And I just swung over a 52. And that's what I looked down and see. I think it's a surface nickel. And it's probably a brand new spanking nickel. It is shiny. So probably like a 21 or something. I can't see. It's so shiny it will show. 2020. Yuck, what a bad year. <laughs> oh gosh. All those coins, those COVID coins that were made are gonna have negative face value. <laughs> oh boy. Anyways, that's cool. Got a nickel. Moving on. Had another 52. Or 51. 52-ish. And out popped a very I would say the plug I dug was like four inches. It said like something around there. Um, but it was like two inches down. It came in nice and clear. 1986. Yep, that's another nickel today. It's going to be a nickel day. I feel I'm going to find that V nickel. Just kidding. I don't know. I doubt it. This area has been hit probably the most. Um, it's rare to even find change over here now. But I'll take it. Hopefully you find something old. If not, whatever. We're out detecting, right? It's been a while since I've talked to you folks. My feet are feeling better. I can walk in my boots without, you know, cringing in pain. So that's a plus. Um, but yeah, we're out today. And it just rained too yesterday, so we're doing good. The very next signal was a 75, I believe, 75, 76. And it was pretty shallow, probably about three or four inches down. But out popped a penny. So we are finding change today. That's all right. Yep, just a zinkin. Don't know the year, but it's a penny. A blinking right there. All right. Those of you on here who don't know who Abe Lincoln is, he was a famous president who abolished slavery during the Civil War. So, cool. Well, I thought this was gonna be another nickel, but it ended up just being another tent rivet. That was a shame. It's weird it rang up so low. Normally they ring up pretty high. Like a penny at times. All right, moving on. Well, I haven't found much in this hunt. Uh, in the last one, last one I found uh, that buckle. I found, uh, sorry, this car's going by. I found a, uh, what's it called, you know, bail seal, um, that buckle was really cool, um, but I just had 80s, my best signal today, and I popped out a 98 uh, <laughs> dime, <laughs> there was a smooth signal for 5 inches there, uh, no doubt about it. I thought it was going to be silver dime, if anything. It started out with 81, then made its way to 84. Well, I'm going to drop it. But we'll take it. Change. You know, I got some coffee money today, but that's about it so far. Hopefully we find something good, but not liking my odds today. 